You're not gonna believe what they paid me to do now. Yeah! Yeah, man! What's going on, YouTube? What's going on? Oh! <laughs> oh, man, I've been busy, 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 busy with this Amazon stuff. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Tell you all about it. Man, they pay us drivers in the power only division stupid amount of money to do the easiest work that I have ever done in my trucking career. Now, you all remember the video that we did about two weeks ago when I, my very first Amazon load was to haul an empty trailer across the daggum country. I was like, what, what? All right, cool, whatever. I thought maybe it was like, ah, maybe this is a one-time thing. Ah, apparently it happens all the time. But you're not gonna believe. Well, you saw the title. You saw the title. Let me tell you what happened. What happened was, so I, I we, uh, we went fishing for a load we found this load that had like, I don't know, six or seven stops on it or something like that, right? It started out in Salt Lake City to pick up an empty truck. I'm going to tell you the whole load first, and then I'm going to tell you what actually happened. Start out in Salt Lake City to pick up an empty trailer. Take the empty trailer down to Vegas. Pick up a loaded trailer. Bring that loaded trailer literally basically across the street drop the loaded trailer pick up another empty go down to moreno valley drop the empty pick up a loaded go back to salt lake drop the loaded in salt lake bring an empty back down to fontana pick up a loaded trailer bring it back to salt lake 2,400 miles, $4,400, roughly, uh, what was it? Let's see, I started that load on, what's today? Today's Saturday. I think I started that load, it was supposed, the load was supposed to start Tuesday night at 11-ish. I got there at like noon on Tuesday, and as I was pulling up to the gate, because the app continues to update. So, right, I don't know, it was like an hour before uh, I was going to go over there. I updated the app, and it shows you that you're bringing and picking up an empty, bringing an empty, dropping an empty, picking up a loaded, whatever. Well, the empty trailer portion from Salt Lake City to Vegas, and then from Vegas down to Moreno Valley, was canceled. So all I had to do was go to the Salt Lake location, check in, pull up in the driveway, wave hello, and then turn around and bobtail to Vegas. So I bobtailed to Vegas, got to Vegas about two hours early, and I was supposed to pick up this load of totes, I guess it was, from what the lady said, to bring across the street. But she said they didn't have any empties to load that trailer, and they canceled that load. Now, they had already canceled the, the empty trailer from Salt Lake to Vegas and then from Vegas to Moreno Valley. So now this little across-the-street load that I had is now being canceled. And, you know, had to deal with ROC and, you know, and all that stuff on the phone. And they're canceling the load and all that good stuff. And giving me permission to do two bobtail down to Moreno Valley. Okay. So I bobtailed down to Moreno Valley, get there about six hours early the next day to pick up what I thought was supposed to be a loaded trailer. I get down there, no, canceled. Go ahead, bobtail back to Salt Lake City. And I'm like, at this, at this point, I'm on the phone with Chris, and I'm like, we're getting paid for this, right? He's like, yeah, as long as you're checking in to the location, 
there checking you in with the you know the thing with the QR code because let me show you what it looks like here I'll show you what it looks like this is uh, my next load I don't know if it's gonna let me do the uh, I don't know if it's gonna let me show you the, the QR code you know what a QR code looks like but anyway look here I don't know if you can see this or not but you see how in the top here it says pick up empty trailer and then I go to this next location with the empty trailer and get live loaded and then bring it down to California. This is an easy load. This is an easy, quick little one. Well, anyway, so I bobtailed all the way down from Salt Lake to Vegas, Vegas to Moreno Valley to pick up a loaded trailer to go to Salt Lake. They were like, yeah, we don't have no empties. You're a bobtail order. I'm like, what in the hell, right? So I bobtailed all the way back to Salt Lake City. And now on the app, it's saying to, to bobtail back to Salt Lake City to grab an empty trailer just to bring back to Fontana. I was like, wow, okay, this is getting silly. This whole load is just, I'm just like, wow, I'm saving time, I'm saving money and fuel. I mean, I mean I'm not, I'm not even getting out of the truck to drop and hook, nothing. It's, it's bobtail, right? So anyway, I get back up to Salt Lake the next, the Salt Lake City the next day, and I, as I'm pulling up to the gate, I see the app update again, and they took away the empty trailer slot, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off at that point. So I'm like, wow, this is nuts. The guy was like, yep, bobtail back down to California, and I'm like, oh my god. So I, so I bobbed him all the way back down to California. <laughs> I get to Fontana the next day, the next night, early, obviously early as hell. And um, I'm like, hey, I'm here to pick up a loaded trailer to go back to Cal uh, Salt Lake City to final out the load. They're like, nah, that load canceled. We're just gonna have you uh, bobtail back up there. And I'm like, what? What? I'm literally like baffled baffled like is Amazon that short on trailers that they just say forget about it we'll do it another day or something well anyway <laughs> I'm like are you sure they're like yeah we don't have the trailers but bobtail back up there finish the load out so 20 so I bob so I just got done I'm here in Salt Lake City now it's 420 I was supposed to drop the trailer at like 11 o'clock tonight but I dropped it uh I mean, I got got to the location, uh, but see, that's the cool thing about Amazon. You could show up early. They don't care. They're like, get the load there, get there early. They don't care. Uh, the only time they care, sometimes if you got uh, on the, the people on the phone at Amazon's like support desk, they call it ROC and um, or the Rock. I don't know why they call it that, but anyway, I can't remember what the acronym stands for. Um, but anyway, sometimes like if you're there early and they don't have an empty trailer for you to get, they might make you wait until your departure time before they cancel you out and say just bobtail. So sometimes that's the only time you get uh, held up with the Amazon stuff. But I bobtailed the whole load. Never hooked up a trailer once. Four has Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four, Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So five days worth of work, 2,400-ish miles, $4,400, and never hooked up a trailer. If you are an Amazon Power Only driver, and this has happened to you, comment below, let me know. I thought for sure I was going to do at least one portion of the load, you know, something, anything. They're like, no, no empties. Just go ahead, bobtail back up. And I'm like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, go ahead, go. I'm like, what? So I pulled back into Salt Lake City again, and I'm like, hey, I'm here to check in. I'm like, yeah, we got you. See you later. Off I went. And now I'm sitting over here at the Flying J here in Salt Lake City, which is a beautiful place in the bobtail section. And uh, it was, oh, I was like, I called, every day I was calling Chris, I was like, Chris, this is getting funnier and funnier and funnier. 
and uh, he's like, yeah, just go ahead, check in, make sure you check in, they, they check you in, that way you make sure you get paid, and I'm like, are you sure we're going to get paid for this? Are you, I mean, they're not going to be like, well, he didn't pull no trailers or anything, he's like, no, 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 they're, they're going to pay you, because you showed up, and they changed it, you know, they changed the order up, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow. Because even that one load, I mean, I hauled an empty trailer across the country for $3,500. <laughs> what in the hell? The whole load bobtailed, you guys. With that being said, um, currently, at the moment, if you have your own truck and you don't have anywhere to drive it, so to speak, and you want a, a place to call home, um, Bring your truck over to RST, okay? Um, I'll make sure there's a link in the description box for the application. Go ahead and fill out the application. Send me a message either on Facebook or on Instagram or something like that. And um, we'll get you set up because uh, the trial period is over. We're starting to move a lot of our drivers, uh, not a lot, but we're starting to move drivers over uh, to the Amazon power only side of things. and. Um, Coming soon, we may have our own trailers. But yeah, if you have your own truck and you know you're an owner operator and you want to, you know, bring and lease your truck onto a company that's going to uh, take care of you, and uh, yeah, the link will be in the yeah, the link will be in the description box below. But man, the whole load, guys, bobtailed. I can't get over it. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm almost worried. I'm almost worried that, uh, here, let me see if I can pull up the past trip. Trips? No. History. There we go. Look at this. Yeah. Look. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you see this. <laughs> You're going to laugh when you see it. I'm laughing. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm going to grab the camera so I can make sure you see this. Hold on. Give me one second here. I want to make sure you can see this. So I'll tell you right now. Because you ain't going to believe me. Nobody's going to believe me. Maybe some of these guys that have done this will believe me. But here we go. This is where it started out. Bobtail. Las Vegas. From from Salt Lake down to Vegas. Bobtail, Bobtail. Moreno Valley. Vegas down to Moreno Valley. Bobtail, Bobtail. <laughs> bobtail, Bobtail. Back up. Bobtail, Bobtail. Back up. Bobtail, Bobtail. Oh my God. They haven't updated the other part of it yet, but oh, the whole load, the whole load bobtailed, the whole load, back and forth. Now, throughout the entire load, I was supposed to pull, I was supposed to pull um, a couple of loaded trailers and then pull empty trailers back to those locations to get, you know, more loaded trailers. But fuck, no empty trailers, no... I, so, yeah, just bobtail. Go ahead, go ahead, bobtail, bobtail, bob. Like, wow. So, yeah. And I got to tell you, I mean this sincerely. It is the easiest stuff that I have done in my trucking career. No paperwork, hardly. The only time you deal with paperwork is when you uh, pick up a load that you get live loaded or pick up a trailer that was live loaded or whatever. But it's very simple. As soon as you get the paperwork and you check out of that location and you take a picture of your phone, take a picture with your phone of the paperwork, scan it in, and then when you get to the DC, the Amazon DC, they don't even ask for the paperwork because it's already in the system. And you drop the trailer and you go. I mean, my goodness. My goodness. The easiest, easiest, easiest work. And decent money, too. A lot of people will be like, oh man, I ain't pulling that cheap freight right there. I ain't pulling that cheap freight right there. I can't start my truck for less than $2 a mile. Well, hey, 
You take into account the amount of time that you're dealing with getting loaded and unloaded and yada yada yada, showing up for appointment times and blah 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 blah. blah. Bro, the best part about the power only stuff is that they don't care if you get it there early. I've get it there early, get it, and then boom, on to the next one. Boom, on to the next one. You just constantly moving. And I had a load that canceled one time. At the, I'm pulling into the gate and the load canceled. And I'm like, now what? Well, we got a truck order not used. Okay, well, are we going to find a load? We went on the thing. Blah, 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 blah. Sure enough, loads. Lots of them. Plenty of them. Loads for days. So there's no issue there. Um, but so like I said, yeah, so if you have your own truck and you want to bring it over to RST, the link will be in the description box below. We're starting out uh, solo drivers at 15% uh, revenue. There will be no more RST fee when you're doing Amazon stuff. Like when you like, like back, you know, when we got drivers that are doing Prime and Wilson, you know, there was that RST fee of 350 a week, which covers your plates and all that good stuff well on the Amazon side and when we move over to uber and all that other stuff and convoy eventually we're gonna be doing uh, revenue um, starting out I think it's gonna start out 15% for solo drivers and 20% for teams but yeah if you have your own truck and you want to bring it over link will be in the description box get you set up uh, as of right now I don't think we have any trucks available for lease slash lease purchase so um but i do know that in the in the near future um with this amazon stuff and everything we might possibly start hiring company drivers again i it, it's an idea that's floating around um i don't know it's just so stay tuned for that i mean who knows there's a lot of a lot of good things happening companies expanding companies growing we're doing a lot more different things now as you can see uh, but yeah, you guys can always ask me questions. Hit me up Instagram or Facebook for questions. Uh, but yeah, so um, with that being said, let me move on to some more updates. Uh, truck update. Truck Hood Watch 2020. The campaign is in full effect. Um, I've, you know, a lot of people think it's Pete. A lot of people think it's a W9. A lot of people think it might be a Freightliner. You know, might, some people are saying it's going to be another Volvo. Uh, let me tell you something. I got an update on the truck. The truck is supposed to hit the factory floor on September 4th. And according to what the factory is saying, it's only going to take them like two days to build it, obviously. Short, very short period. So then from the time it gets built, the time it gets delivered, yada, 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 um, I should take possession of it hopefully by the end of September, the latest-ish. So. But the truck is hitting the factory floor finally, thanks to uh, the COVID-19 delay when everything shut down. Had it not been for the uh, the crown illness, I would have had this truck already on for you know, so. But it's always something when it comes to the truck. Always something. Always got to be something. But anyway, that's pretty much the update. Stay tuned for more on the truck. Stay, more, uh, stay tuned. What are you doing pulling in here in a trailer, dude? This is bobtail section, bro. Golly, some people can't. Man. Anyway. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. There's a lot more cool stuff coming down the pipe. And um, uh, uh, my next load starts up here in Salt Lake, goes down to Redlands, and then I got a load going all the way across the country to Jersey. And then I'm going to take a couple days off at the house. I got some work I got to do in the basement. I'll explain it all when we get when I get home. You, you're, it's crazy. Um, but if, hey, also if anybody has had or has a stone walled basement, I need your advice because the other day it rained really, 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 really hard and real fast in a very short period of time, and I had water and mud coming into my basement through the stone wall cracks and crevices. So. I had my son uh, patch up the holes that were in the side of the grass next to the foundation of the house because there was a big hole in the grass in the foundation uh, of the grass right next to the house and that's where all the mud and water from the rain just got pushed down and it seeped through the wall 
Because when my son went down in the basement, and they said, Dad, there's mud in the basement. And I'm like, what? And he went down there, and we were doing uh, FaceTime on the iPhone. And I'm like, what the? F I'm like, what are we going to do? Oh, my God. Well, anyway, when I get home, I'll explain all that to you. But if anybody has, I, I have a couple of ideas. Uh, I, I got an excavating company I'm going to call to see about getting a what's called a dry creek bed installed around the house to help prevent water from going up against the house and sinking down into the ground and then dripping into the basement. So um, if you have ever had a stone walled basement and know how to keep it dry, let me know in the comments below or send me a message on Facebook uh, or whatever. But um, that's it for today, guys. Just a quick talking head video, nothing exciting. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below. Um, Teespring, right here, guys, if you want to get this shirt. Um, check out the links there. Um, also, if you want to help support the channel, um, it's only 3 bucks a month, but there is the Patreon link. Um, I haven't been making many videos because I've been just non-stop with this. Literally non-stop with this Amazon stuff, so, but, uh, my first week, I grossed out, I'm not going to get into particulars on numbers, let's just say, we're grossing out way over $5,000 for the, uh, three and a half, four weeks I've been, three and a half weeks that I've been doing this so far, my first week, I only had that one load that came across the country with the empty trailer, that was 3500 bucks. so that was just the one week. That, that I didn't gross over 5000 but uh, the second week, the third week, and now we're coming into the fourth week, I'm already, and then when I get, by the time I get home, it'll be five weeks total, I think, and every single week will be over 5000 gross, over, well, well over, so, doing very well over here, have no complaints at all, um, that's it, thanks for watching, we'll see you later, do do do